So I wanted to do just a quick video to explain how easy it is to do what I do. If you admire what I do and you're impressed by my work and, and you want to be able to trade successfully and do well in the space, it's really not that hard. There's a few steps, a few things that you have to do. Um, First, you should probably identify a trader you admire, admire somebody's work who you appreciate, whether it's me or somebody else. Either learn from that person and ask them to mentor you if they have a group or something, uh, or just look at the work that they do and see if you can copy it. Now, don't just copy my trades, right? Don't copy what I do, copy how I do it. It's the how, not the what. Don't enter when I enter and exit when I exit because you're not always gonna be able to replicate that and you're not gonna know exactly what I'm doing anyway. If you learn how I'm doing it and you can replicate what I'm actually doing to get to that point, you will be able to do what I do, possibly even better than I. So that being said, step one, get your money out of the market. Put it into fiat, put it into a stable coin, keep it safe while you embark on your new journey to become a successful trader. You wanna maintain your capital and keep it as safe as you can so when you are ready to trade and when you have a strategy and a model that is able to sustain a profitable level of returns, um, you wanna have as much capital as possible. You can't get your capital back once you lose it, it's gone forever. So maintain capital. Step two, identify a model uh, for predicting the highest probability of what's going to happen so you're able to identify what trades are better to get into. So the first thing you'll want to do is, is collect data, collect uh, books and videos and things you want to read and watch and traders you want to learn from. Get all that information together so you can start drilling, right? You want to focus on support and resistance is the most crucial thing you can look at. Horizontal supports, identifying supports based on prior trading history, looking left on a chart and using that data to model a future uh, high probability of support or resistance. Then you move on to Fibonacci, which also gives you support and resistance levels. After you have that down, after you're able to put support and resistance on some charts and they just hit and hit and hit, they provide a ton of support and resistance every single time they're holding, then you'll move on and use Elliott Wave. Elliott Wave doesn't tell you what's going to happen, but it's a visual representation of what we already know. We already know that the highest probability of what's going to happen is we're going to get rejected at the 618 retracement and we're going to bounce again at the 382 before we extend up to the 1618 extension. If you draw lines between those points, now you have a visual representation of exactly what you already anticipate happening. It makes it much easier to trade and makes it much easier to visualize what's going to happen and know whether you're getting into a good trade or a weak trade. So once you have an idea of when it's a good time to enter a trade because you can see how much potential a certain trade has, you're gonna to wanna to work on risk mitigation. Work on various tools to mitigate risk, learn strategies like I employ, whether it's using stop losses and setting a limit of how much you're willing to risk. Um, for instance, something that I do is I only enter a trade when I have a really strong support below my entry. So I need to be able to have my entry and then a really strong support and then a stop loss below that. And the entire gap between entry and stop loss is never more than two, two and a half, sometimes 3%. So I'm never risking more than a few percent. If you can get a strategy like that down, you'll be, you'll be able to properly mitigate risk. So you're never exposing yourself too much to losing too much of your capital. Because remember, you can't get it back once it's gone. Um, I would say the next step in the process, right? You've, you've set aside your money, you're working on learning your paper trading. That's the key. You want to paper trade with fake money till you can get a profitable strategy. Then you move your, your live capital back in. Um, once you have all those things down, you can work on maximizing profits, right? So say you now know when to enter trades. You know how to work the trade, you know how to mitigate your risk so you're not exposed too much. Now you wanna work on those more advanced techniques like some of the things I do where I'll, I'll sell at the top of wave three and buy back at the end of wave four so I can ride wave five up. When you're not at that level of trading ability, what you should do is keep your stop loss below your anticipated bottom of wave four. So if you're going up wave three, set your stop loss below where you think wave four is gonna land so you don't get stopped out and then you can ride wave five up as well. What I do is I move my stop loss up so it's only a few percent below the top of wave three. So when wave four corrects and comes down, I get stopped out, but then I'm very confident that I can enter right at the bottom of wave four, so I'll buy back in. So I might sell at 20% profit at the top of wave three and then buy back at 17% above my original entry and I make an additional 3% profit. Yeah, it's actually 6%, but um, so you can get into more advanced stuff like that. A culmination of all this stuff and working on all these various strategies and topics is you can become an excellent trader. You could do this for a living. It is not easy to do, but it's something that anybody can do. You just need to get the right process down. You need to be able to prioritize and focus on the right things at the right times. And that's really the order you should do it. Get your capital safe, number one. Uh, number two, identify the strategy you want to employ. 
Number three, start learning it, drilling it, looking at the various things that you need to learn to be able to replicate that strategy and work on the fundamentals. Like in my case, support and resistance are the key fundamentals. Once you have that down four, you're gonna work on developing the more advanced TA tools that allow you to model what's gonna happen. So now you know how to enter, you know when to enter and you know what's gonna happen or at least the highest probability of what's gonna happen moving forward. And then finally, you work on those advanced strategies that allow you to maximize profit and squeeze that extra three, four, five, sometimes 10% out of a trade. Work on that stuff, you won't be sorry, and you can't go wrong.